the Z-Bar. And I haven't pulled this up, but I can almost guarantee what it is. The pad is going to be too far away from uh, the tack strip to the pad needs to be all the way flush to the tack strip. If it's not, you're going to get this dip like this. And I see it all the time. So what I want to do in this video is just to ensure you, or just to show you, and ensure that this will not happen to your install over time, okay? Let's go ahead and pull it up and just take a look there. Just to see if uh, that it is short, which I'm sure it is. That's what causes that. Okay, let's see. Can you see that? So this is too far away. If anything, if ever you're going to be short, it must not be where it's meat and Z-bar because this is what it looks like. This is the main place where you want to make sure that your carpet is, I mean that your pad is not going to be short because, because it looks like that, okay? And look here, see this? Right there's your pad glue which sticks it, but over time and dust and stuff like that, it just becomes unstuck, as you can see there. So it might be good when you originally do it, but the pad glue will give away over time, and you'll end up with a crease like this right before your tack strip. So many times I see this, and that's why I wanted to address this, just to show you guys how to make sure that it don't end up like that over time on your jobs, okay? Um, as we all know, any carpet layer, you can see this, see the end of this roll right here? It's rolled up all nice and tight. Every once in a while you'll get a roll pad that's actually rolled up loose and when you try to pick it up it'll flop around and stuff like that. The majority of them is nice and tight and um, that is actually what causes that to be short up next to the uh, to the tile like that. Let me show you right here what I'm talking about because this is rolled up all tight and as it sets for just a minute unrolled it begins to shrink up back to its normal size because as it's rolled up it's getting a little bit of a stretch on it uh, as it's rolled up from the fabric so as it gets rolled out flat like this, it's going to start its little bit of contraction and go back to the uh, normal length or compression, I guess would be the right word, of what it should be. Okay? So, I want to, and this is what I'm going to show in there. Uh, next to the Z bar, but I've already got that rolled out, so I'll show you in here and then we'll go in there and do it. So look right here at the doorway. See what I got? See how much pad I got overlapped on my. Go ahead and stand up. Go ahead and right there in the hallway and watch. So you can see how much pad I've got overlapped, and that's because I just unrolled it and laid it out there now. If I just go ahead and do my next piece and just walking around on it and stuff like that, here in a minute when I come back, this is actually going to be about that much shorter, okay? Because it's going to start contracting just from walking around on it and stuff like that. The stretch is going to be free because it's no longer wrapped tight on the roll. So, in order, that's what happens because right now, if somebody went up here and cut this off at that Z bar right there, if it just got cut off and then walked on a few minutes, it's going to end up being a half inch or three quarters of an inch short, just like we saw in the living room there. So what I have been doing lately, since I've discovered what is causing that, whenever I unroll my pad out here just like this, before I do any cuts, watch this, watch my feet, I'm going to just kind of back it up there. I ain't causing no wrinkles while there is actually a little wrinkle. But anyway, what I'm doing, not looking a little funny, but I'm actually compressing that back to what it should be. That way after it's cut, it's 
it's not going to have any shrinkage to do. It's already going to be compressed to cut. So after I cut it, it's going to stay there. There's not going to be any more, any more shrinkage that needs to be done, okay? So, if you'll see, now, look at the, uh, look at the tack strip now. That's how much I was able to just scrunch this together, okay? It was a while ago about maybe three quarters of an inch longer than that. It was all the way over to the Z bar. So now, if I cut that off and, and do whatever, it's not going to shrink no more. That's going to be final. It's going to be just like that in 10 years from now because all the crunch is all up. And if you cut it short and you kick it up and stick it in the glue and expect that that's going to hold it, that's not going to hold it because as you've seen, whenever I pulled up the carpet out of the living room, after X amount of years, the glue gets loose, okay? It holds to an extent. Let's walk in the living room real fast. Um, so this is actually laid the opposite way, but this is where it was short. Originally, this right here is where that hump was. Right here is my Z-bar and stuff. I actually run my pad the opposite way of uh, that. But anyways, even if it is run this way, I still scrunched it both directions and I'm going to scrunch it. See that right there? This is still flat here. The edge is stretched out. Don't look at that. But look right here. Come right here. This was just together. But see that? Just from that much scrunch, now I've got a half inch gap in there. And this is still all flat, okay? It's not overlapped on my tack strip over there. I just had that much scrunch or squeeze or compression, whatever you want to call it, in the pad that will give before it starts wrinkling. If I call any more, it's going to start wrinkling. See that? But I can get an extra half inch of compression out of my pad before I make my cut. Watch. Step back off the pad for just a second. So right here, I'm going to see that. Now I close that gap. I'm getting all the compression out of it now before I make my cuts. Now look right here. Now I've got that half inch, I transferred that half inch over here. It's actually a little more here than it was there because out of each piece you get that much more compression, okay? So now, when I pull this over here and get this seam lined up, whenever I cut it, it's going to be like that. There's not going to be any shrinkage or anything in the pad for years to come. I'm going to cut this off right here and I'll... Uh, okay. Notice as I'm cutting, I'm taking my left hand and I'm pulling tight. And I'm even getting compression at this little piece here. Because if you just keep pushing like that, it pulls that pad out at an angle that way. So if you're working on a small piece like this, I always want to keep tension to the inside to your seam, okay? This may seem like child's play, but it is so often and so common that we see those little dips up next to Z-bar. People are obviously not getting it, so that's why I wanted to do this. Now look at that. So, it's off. It's actually a little longer, but anyway. It's uh, see now, this is going to be like this forever because I already got the compression out of it before I cut it. Had I just left everything alone and it just worked on itself, here probably within just a month or so. So my batteries just went dead. I don't know exactly where it cut me off talking, but anyway. Bins, I did go ahead and get the compression lengthways and widthways. This pad is going to be like this forever, okay? If someone comes in here in five years and pull it up, it's still going to be just that tight to the tack strip, okay? There's not going to be any shrinkage away from it anywhere. So it only takes a second. Before you do your cuts, you know what I'm saying? See that right there? Just bump it a little bit much. But anyway, you get the point. Just bump it toward the center from, from one end. Bump it that way, come the other room, bump it that way with your feet. I already did this room, that's why it's 
bubbling up like that, but if you'll just stretch it toward the center and then make your cuts, if it does anything, it's just going to push a little tighter to the tack strip if you do happen to cut it a little short. So it's win-win if you do cut it a little short. So it's win-win no matter what. So just scrunch your pad up, compress it together before you make your cuts, and you're always going to have nice and tight up next to the tack strip. You'll have no ridge right there at the edge, okay? I hope somebody can benefit from this. I know, like I said, it sounds like child's play, but we see that so much. I wanted to bring that to you guys' attention. And um, please hit the like, I mean the subscribe button right up here in the camera, and like the video if you don't mind, to show your appreciation, and hit the notification bell. Um, if you haven't already, what is it? You just said hit the subscribe button on the camera. Uh, <laughs> anyway, hit the subscribe button. And uh, right up here, and if you uh, haven't already hit the notification bell, and you can get every single video as soon as they come out, you'll get notified for it. Uh, thanks again for watching, and thank you for all of my subscribers.